Hi there. Now in this video I've got another integral here which is based around this integral only it's just a little harder. And in this example what I'm going to do is show you how we can reduce this type of integral into this form by completing the square. So with this one what we've got here is this 4 in front of the x squared and it's negative so we've just got to take a few extra steps in rearranging it. So we'll start off then with that quadratic expression 5 minus 8x minus 4x squared and we'll say that it's identical to and what I do is I pull out this minus 4 in front of a bracket and I just concentrate on the x term and the x squared term when this occurs. So if I do that, what I've got in here is x squared to give me the minus 4x squared. And for minus 8x, that's going to be plus 2x there. And then I'll put the 5 on the end, plus 5. OK? I always find it's easier just to work with the x squared term and the x term in cases like this then. Next, put the minus 4 down again, and I'm going to complete the square on the x squared plus 2x. So just put a bracket here, squared, put an x at the front here, and then halve the coefficient of x. The half of 2 is just 1, so it's just going to be x plus 1. If I square this out, what I get is x squared, okay, plus twice the product, that's 2x, that's that term, and I'm going to get 1 squared, which is 1. There is no 1 here, so I subtract that 1. So inside this square bracket, I've just got x squared plus 2x. Then I've got the plus 5 there, so I'll just put it on the end. And if I now expand this out, what I've got is minus 4 times that bracket, minus 4 times x plus 1, all squared. I've got minus 4 times the minus 1 there, which is plus 4. And then I've got just simply the 5. So I end up with plus 9. OK? And if I substitute these values into my integral here, this integral then becomes 3. Well, the 3 is a constant. I could actually pull it out the front here. So we'll get 3. And then that'll be 1 all divided by the square root then of these two terms here. Now I'm going to write the 9 first of all, so we get 9 here minus 4 times all of x plus 1 squared. And this is integrated with respect to x. So I'll just border this off because it's just going to run into it otherwise. Now because we've got this. 4 in front of this bracket here, what we do is we pull that 4 out the front of another bracket. So we've got 3 times the integral of 1 over the square root. Make this quite a big square root there. Okay. And if we pull 4 out of a bracket here, we'll have a square bracket, then this becomes 9 over 4. And then we've got minus x plus 1, all squared. And if I close off that bracket, and then that's integrated with respect to x. Now we've got here the square root of 4, so that's 2, and I can pull that out the front. So we get 3 over 2 times the integral of 1 all over the square root Of, well, 9 over 4 becomes 3 over 2 all squared. Now, when it comes to minus x plus 1, what we do is we do integration by substitution. So we're using this formula here, and what we do is we let u equal the x plus 1. And differentiate this to get du by dx. So we would therefore have du by dx equals 1. We need 
dx du, so that's to invert this, so dx by du would be 1 over 1, which is 1. And substituting this into here would have 1 times du, that would be du. And the x plus 1 is now u, so that's minus u squared. We've now got this particular format, x is replaced with the u, and the a is 3 over 2. So looking at that result here, what we're going to have is this 3 over 2 at the front here, multiplied by the inverse sign of u divided by a, u divided by 3 over 2, which reduces down to 2 thirds u. And then we got the constant of integration plus c. And filling back now with what u is, x plus 1, we finish on 3 over 2 then times the inverse sign or arc sign, it's up to you if you want to write that, 2 times x plus 1 all over 3 plus the constant of integration plus c. And there you go. All right, just working then with completing the square to change the quadratic expression into the form a squared minus x squared.